Okay, so welcome back. Uh, this is gonna be the next series of videos for Kingdom Rush. I'm gonna continue with Kingdom Rush Vengeance. It came out 2018, so yeah, I mean, it's a little bit late, but better late than never. Um, so uh, this, you know, for me, this is one of the best ones, if not the best one so far. Uh, I mean, spoiler alert, you play as the bad guy here, so it's basically, you know, one of the things that I think um, adds a little bit like of a fresh air to the, to the series as well. I mean, not that Kingdom uh, Rush uh, Origins was bad, uh, but, um, you know, you always play as a good guy, so here you play as a, you know, the bad guy that takes revenge for all the stuff that has happened in the previous installment, so, you know, this sort of stuff. Um, just a couple of things that they saw that are different, um, you know, comparing this down with the previous ones. The first one is that you, uh, only in this one you have a range of towers that you can actually customize your rooster with, so basically, um, you know, as as soon as you progress in the game you have different towers that you unblock i mean of course you have this content paid content both for towers and for heroes but you know i didn't pay a single dime after after purchasing the game this is one of the points as well i mean i'm gonna be able to probably be able to you know like uh, get all the missions uh, in the main campaign also the side the elite campaigns uh with the basic towers and with the basic heroes that you're provided with but you know it's uh you know being able to pick up the towers it adds some sort of like a level of like not a level but a layer of complexity and also play the the play style and all the the different strategies you can deploy in the field are actually um much much uh much richer i would say uh so basically i mean for this video i'm going to show you the first and the second maps i mean it's a basic tutorial and basically you know the, the first map which is i mean easy peasy if you have played the previous installments as well and um and the last thing I wanted to comment is that uh, the first hero you are provided with, I mean, for me, probably is going to be the best one. I mean, it has, I mean, with the hero, but the troops and also the uh, the troops that you can deploy and also the skills, the passive skills and the active skills that uh, this hero has, you can stop up to eight units on the ground, which I actually think it's it's really, really good. Eight or nine. I mean, I think, you know, I've observing the upgrades and think the troops that you can drop, I mean, the last... Um, the last upgrade you know adds uh, an additional unit from time to time so you can actually you know stop up to nine units which uh, ground units which actually think it's amazing i mean for this you know initial hero uh, so i think it's the one i'm going to be using most of the times but you know as i always say stop the video go try it yourself and if it doesn't work come back and watch a tutorial as always play it in discretion stay safe and be awesome these days High, aim true. Fire with fire. Yeah. 
all beats brawn. To infinity and beyond! Kamate, Kamate! Puny human! My fire. with fire.
Strength and honor! Man flesh! Night is dark. Alborius, come a day, come a day. my fire. Thank <laughs> you. 